Friends, welcome to IPL WASP. This is a win and score predictor. This has developed by me, Professor Dibhujyoti Bhattacharji of Department of Statistics, Assam University, and Hemant Shoikia, who is uh, Assistant Professor in College of Sericulture, Assam Agricultural University. Uh, this is a uh, win predictor for the second innings of the match and a, a score predictor for the first innings of the match. And uh, this is developed out of academic interest. Software used is Visual Basic. And uh, this is no way related to gambling. And we don't support gambling in any form uh, as such. So let us have a look at this software. So as you can see, this is the opening page of the software with three buttons. One is to predict the score for first innings. Second is to uh, predict the winner for the second innings and this is the exit button which will take you outside the software. Suppose we want to predict the score of the match for the first innings. Match is already going on. Some runs have been scored. Some wickets have been lost and you want to predict the score. So just to click here. Friends, once we clicked on predict the score, this particular page opens before us. This is used for the first innings of the match when the match is already in progress. And uh, let us assume that uh, already uh, six overs has been bowled, and in the six overs, the team betting first have scored 52 runs at the loss of two wickets. So let us fill in the data. So 52 runs, uh, overs completed is six, and wickets lost is two. And then we click on predict the final score. So you see the final score comes up to 170. Suppose uh, at a later stage of the match or even in the same stage of the match, suppose the team has scored 58 runs at the loss of one wicket. So let us change our data and then we click on predict the final score. You see the score has gone up to 182. This is because they have scored uh, more runs and the wickets lost is less. So this is how we uh, predict the score. Uh, suppose at a later stage, we are at uh, say uh, 100 and 12 which is scored at the end of the 11th over and the wickets lost by that time by the time is 3 and then we predict the final score you see it has gone up to 199 because the situation is much improved now than what it was earlier if we want to refresh the data we just click here so they go back to the uh, refreshed values and then we click here to go back to the home page once you are in the home page then uh, if you want to find the winner predict the winner of the match uh, when the second innings of the match has already started, you just click. This shall take you to the prediction page for the winner of the match. So you have to give the target of victory. Suppose the target of victory is 181 for the team betting second. And the match is in progress and the team at the end of uh, 6 overs have already scored uh, 48 for 2. So we type in 48 and then uh, wickets lost is 2. And the end of six overs so just we come down here and we uh, put six overs and then we give compute so that gives the chance of victory 42.02 percent and this is the graph uh, pie diagram which shows the percentage of victory with the help of the red uh, colored area so you understand that the team betting second have less chance of winning this match at that point of time just to want to refresh it so you click on refresh it goes back to the default values and you can put the uh, refresh values here uh, at a later part of the innings and then you can you may check what is the chance of victory let us assume that a later part of the match the target for victory remains to be same 181 as i have told and the run scored by the team betting second uh, is 148 uh, when uh, 15 overs were bold so we come down and select the number of overs 15 and they are at a loss of four wickets and at this stage if we compute we find that uh, they have a very high chance of winning the match 99.1 as you can see the graph it is almost filled up uh, now the team betting second is in such a situation that there is very less chance of them losing the match and then we want to uh, come back to a home page we just click here so friends uh, once we click 
on return to home page so we come here and this is the once again we come back to the home page of the software we click exit to come out of the software and these uh, calculations that we have done is based on data collected from IPL 2018 and IPL 2019 based on this data from these two years the models have been developed and accordingly they are estimated thank you for watching this